Hey friend of Ruskies, welcome back to the Friday edition of Hot News. This is going to be the last time you see my face for the week, which at least I hope it is because I need the weekend off. That's what I'm going for. And I'm going for an ad spot right now because we got a great sponsor for you today for today's episode of Hot News. Synergy, my friends. They've sponsored us quite often. It's because I love their service. It makes my life easier because I can connect to multiple computers in my office using one keyboard and mouse, whether it's over here or over there, or even just messing with my wife by putting it on her PC and controlling it from here. I can do that because Synergy allows you to control multiple devices with one keyboard and mouse, whether it be Windows, Mac, Linux, all of that. You can merge that into one application and you can check them out at the link in the video description to pick up Synergy or Synergy Pro, which includes SSL encryption in case you need to keep everything encrypted for work. You can do that at the link in the video description. Synergy sponsor in today's video. You should check them out makes my life easier they can make your life easier too so now let's make your life easier by talking about the rtx 3080 because um while a lot of you can't get your hands on one of them you might also want to hold off because there are reports coming out that the 3080 is crashing in an alarming number of games according to various reports on different forums as you can see here 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 just a bunch of these and apparently this is just widespread according to a lot of people my personal gaming extra that msi sent me hasn't had any issues issues but apparently the problem is coming after the card ex exceeds a boost clock of two gigahertz and the fix right now is to underclock the card which is obviously a little ridiculous considering the fact that you're trying to pay for one of the highest end cards that's on the market and you can't run it at full speed hopefully this is just some early teething driver issues on a brand new architecture with a brand new card and this should be resolved but potentially the stock issues might save you this headache because they might actually have it fixed by the time you get yours at least that's the generic hope if you picked up a 3080 have you been experiencing problems let me know down below in the video description but some purchasers of the rtx 3080 were experiencing more problems than just driver crashing apparently newegg was shipping out evga 3080s without boxes or packaging besides an anti-static bag and that led to damage in shipping as you can see the io shield here as well as you can see that it was just in a bag in certain regards over there evga came out and responded saying whoa 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 whoa, whoa. okay hold on we didn't do this. Apparently these cards were meant to be in pre builds or more just like bulk purchases for Newegg and Newegg decided, hey, since we didn't have stock of regular ones that are in boxes, this should be fine to ship out, which doesn't make any sense. Obviously, if you're buying retail, buying a specific part, you would expect that this comes out in a box like it's supposed to, and that would make your warranty claims and all of that easier further on. So bad on Newegg for doing this. I wouldn't necessarily blame EVGA. They responded pretty decently. Apparently this is only a small number but people who have 3080s are experiencing driver crashing people who are able to pick up a 3080 are having issues where it's breaking in shipment and it's all just a giant mess now let's go ahead and talk about something that may or may not be true especially since this is something that i discovered as i was looking to buy the 3080 and 3090 i have a nifty little application that searches the web page to see if there's any change in the out of stock here and then that'll pop up a window and let me know that i can actually go ahead and purchase it it's not a bot that's buying it for me it's just something that's going to alert me if they are available to buy. But I noticed some intriguing behavior that sometimes, as I'm just kind of flipping through the tabs here, it shows $699. So it's kind of weird that it was changing. But then sometimes the price would actually change if I can get to one to $899, which is highly intriguing. You see right here it says $899, but up here it says starting at $699. Then it would revert to $699 after a little while, and then eventually it would do it again and come up at $899. As you can see there, $899. This is intriguing behavior because that's a little weird. This may not mean anything. Uh, my speculation so I posted this on Twitter. A lot of you responded that that is the Canadian price. So it is possible that they somehow were just mixing servers and I got the Canadian price every so often with these cards. I could also potentially speculate that this is the pricing of the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte edition that's supposed to be releasing $200 more for an extra 10 gigabytes of high-end VRAM isn't tremendously stupid expensive and honestly I don't see what the alternative would be it's kind of the halfway between the 3080 and the 3090 and only charging $200 more isn't that bad so it could be that but I'm also inclined to believe that it may indeed be the Canadian store that's popping up because when I was looking to buy the 3090 yesterday live on stream we had this issue tech availability it just re-loops me are you guys seeing this ENGB no thank you ENUS. Is that not a website? Yes, it is. How did I get looped to the British site? What's going on? 
What is happening? So I had issues where it was looping me to the British store for some reason, clicking on the US button actually redirect me to a completely different store. So it being the Canadian pricing is definitely a possibility, but just something I thought I'd want to share on you. But in case you haven't been able to pick up a 30 series, like I haven't been able to buy one, you might want to consider downloading this 3D print file to make an RTX 3080 piggy bank so that you can save up for your 3080 with your 3080. It's great. The file, we'll leave a link in the video description for you to check this out. It's kind of neat. I, I like the idea of this being a, a 3D printed thing. And then obviously, yesterday was the launch of the RTX 3090 both in reviews and purchasing I actually feel personally that the 3090 launch was a little bit better than the 3080 launch I got very close to purchasing one at several times in fact I even got so far to put one in my cart on Nvidia store which never happened with the 3080 anyways in case you want to check out reviews video cards we'll leave a link in the video description does a great job of compiling all the reviews that you could potentially check out it does seem like it's 10 to 15 percent faster than the 3084 you know I double the price which makes sense it's kind of a Titan class card, but it doesn't have any of the Titan features, which makes it a big disappointment. And Nvidia marketed it as an 8K gaming card, but it actually doesn't do well at 8K. So take for that what you're worth. If you have $1,500 to drop on a graphics card, I'm not sure necessarily the reviews are gonna sway you because you're still buying the best of the best. And now let's talk about the best of the best of cloud gaming, which is not this, but it has the possibility to be because Amazon is launching Luna, the cloud gaming service, which is what we thought Stadia would be, which is a Netflix of games. Essentially, you pay a fixed monthly price and then you get it access to a library of games and access to a knockoff Switch Pro controller. By the way, it looks neat. The, the controller, I have no problems with it, but that that if that isn't the spitting image of the Switch Pro controller. Anyways, I've already requested early access. It's supposed to be launching next month. As you can see here, $6 a month for early access pricing, unlimited hours of gameplay, the library of games, 1080p, 60 FPS streaming on two devices uh, all over the place. And then they're also going to be launching a Ubisoft channel, which is probably going to be an additional price, which makes it seem a little worse because then it's kind of like cable television where you have to bundle in the things that you actually want. But the fact that it's not six dollars a month and then you have to actually buy the titles like you do on stadia is a little bit more palatable i still think the premier cloud gaming services are nvidia geforce now as well as x cloud those are going to be the ones moving forward geforce now because it allows you to buy the game play it on high-end hardware via cloud streaming and then when you finally upgrade to your own pc you can play it locally because you actually own it on steam x cloud obviously with game pass gives you unlimited access to a bunch of games that you otherwise wouldn't and it makes a lot of sense that way so i see both of those kind of being the uh, pioneers moving forward we'll see if luna actually can uh reach in and take some of that market share otherwise i, I mean i've requested early access i'll keep you updated on that and we're keeping you updated on the iphone 12 because apparently there are new apple case stickers which show that they are indeed going to have certain names such as the iphone 12 12 pro pro max and the latest the iphone 12 mini which is odd because the mini hope would then knock into the se sales i'm not quite sure what's going on there but we'll obviously wait and see in a couple weeks apple should have their iPhone 12 announcement. But EK announcing yesterday that they have a new coolant called Mystic Fog, which is supposed to give you more vivid RGB effects, as you can see by the unicorn that's right there. This reminds me of the Ultimate RGB build that we did three, four years ago with my wife, where she did the voice of a pooping rainbow unicorn. You can check that out, that video right up there. But it's it's kind of just like an more opaque coolant that gives you good RGB reflection. And you can reflect on whether or not you should pick one of these up today because GameStop's gonna have more pre-orders of the $500 PS5 today. So you could potentially be refreshing their site for that. And then refreshing is not what I would call this update. This just seems like it should have been done a long time ago. Amazon with their hardware announcements yesterday announced that Ring will finally, finally for a security device, have end-to-end -end encryption. What the frick? Let's talk about Microsoft because they actually officially said that, that you should be able to pick up a brand new console on November 10th, even if you weren't able to snag some pre-orders, which is good news for a lot of people. And we also got the official price of the Seagate one terabyte expansion drive for the Xbox Series X and X coming in at $219 or 73% of the entire cost of the Xbox Series S. So if you want one and a half gigs of storage on that Series S, you're looking to spend $500 yourself. Then Doom Eternal is also announced to come out on Game Pass next month in case you want to play that included in your subscription final fantasy 16 apparently is going to launch sooner than we think we heard this actually before it was announced that it's been in development for a while now it says that it's been in development for at least four years and should release sooner than we think maybe launch title that they haven't announced yet because it's not ready to go gold or maybe early next year i would be very happy with that and i'm very happy with horizon zero dawn it's been a game that i've really enjoyed had some hiccups on the pc launch but that didn't stop 716,000 of you picking it up in its first month which puts it near 
nearly at The Witcher 3's PC sales, which is insane. Apparently, it beat Assassin's Creed Odyssey's PC debut. It was 50% more than Death Stranding's PC launch. Jeez, you guys love this game. Hopefully, this leads to Sony putting more games out on the PC. Honestly, what I would love to see is Sony get in on Game Pass. That would, that would be perfect for me. And then let's go ahead and talk about the fact that Left 4 Dead 2 got its first expansion in years yesterday. And you can now play it. It's an update that's for free. It's a community produced update called The Last Stand, which is going to have 20 new survival arenas, four scavenge arenas, and a campaign based on a lighthouse survival map. And in case you want to play it, it is free to play for the weekend only. And in case you want to buy it, it's $2 right now. D just buy it and show Valve some support. Show them that we actually want this. And maybe eventually they can count pass three because they're i mean you look, look at the logo there are three fingers on this on this hand so we could have a left for dead three it's it's a fact left for dead three is a possibility and it's not possible for me to continue this episode of hot news any longer that's the tech news of the day of the week you're done here except for you should check out today's video sponsor synergy control multiple devices with one keyboard and mouse do all of that uh from wherever linux mac windows link in the video description i am not going to be in the video description because i'm going to be leaving i'm out of here goodbye